We're going to do a brief video on Zscaler, that's ZS Stock News. We've got a daily chart on here for you with three moving averages. The green is a five day, the red is a 20 day, the blue is a 200 day. Let's take a look back here at November 19th on uh, 2021. Put in a high of the stock for $376 and some change. You can see it came down here and tested the 200 day moving average, oscillated back and forth, and then ultimately entered a bear market here around February, late February of 2022. So this stock's in a bear market. The 200 day rolled over eventually and it's, it's behaving uh, kind of like you would expect. Came down here and made lows down here in May of about $125 and then ever since then it's been going sideways and that's largely because it's gotten too far away from its 200 day moving average. When a stock gets this far away from a 200 day moving average or any, any kind of huge distance here, any kind of space, it's going to either go sideways or rally back up to the 200. You can see this particular stock's been oscillating back and forth roughly around $157, working its way across and now it's close enough where investors think they can make a stab and say, hey, can we get back into a bull market and they're buying the stock. So what we're seeing today on this stock is uh, normal daily volume, about 2 million shares today. We're almost 6 million shares and it's not yet 1230. So there's a ton of in interest in this stock. But from a technical analysis perspective, we're sideways. We're below the 200 day moving average. We're uh, above the 20 day moving average, but the five day moving average is not above the 20. So this stock is uh, making a huge stab at trying to get to that 200 day. It's got a gap in it today of uh, about, what is that? 16, uh, about 19 bucks uh, in, in a gap on the stock, which is a huge gap uh, to the upside. And uh, what you might on, on, on initial thought think is good, but you'll notice the stock gaps and it fills in those gaps, which most stocks do. So I would look for this gap to fill in eventually. Right now it's clear we're making a stab towards the 200 day moving average. My guess is if it doesn't fill this gap immediately, we're gonna probably try to get up here by uh, mid-September at the $200 level and try to test this this uh, this uh, 200 day moving average where today we're at a high about 185 and some change. So it's trying to make a stab at this, this 200 day moving average, roughly the $200 level by the middle of September. That's my best guess right this second. However, gaps are almost always filled. So I would look for this gap to be filled if uh, really soon, if we do not exceed this $188.06. If we get a rally above that, which is only less than a buck away, then we'll probably rally on up here to 197 or maybe 200. But again, we're talking about a few days, maybe a few weeks here. My best guess is by the middle of September, you might see 200, assuming you don't get this gap filled. But if you don't fill, if you don't put a decent high and hold it above this 188.06, this recent high, then I would suspect a little brief bit of noise here and a, and a fall back down doesn't look like it's probably going to fill all of that gap right now, but it might do something like it did right here in June, fill almost all that gap and rally back up for another stab at the 200. So that's my best guess right at the moment for entertainment purposes only, and um, it's just all my opinion, but that's what it looks like to me right now. Probably a little bit of back and fill through here, but eventually probably a stab at the 200 day moving average. Um, probably if it falls back late September, if it doesn't fall back, maybe within... Uh, another week or so a stab at the 200 day. If we get a close above the 200 day, the stock will come out of its bear market. If we don't get solid closes, when I say a close, I mean a bunch of closes, solid closes supported by the 20 day moving average, and the five day moving average has gotta be above the 20 and the 200. That would take the stock out of a bear market. But right now it's still in a bear market and looks to me to be in a test in the $200 range of the uh, 200 day moving average. That's what I've got for you right now. Again, for entertainment purposes, only my opinion. I do not think we follow this stock at rbmresearch.com. We've come up with algorithmically generated prices every morning, Monday through Friday by 7 a.m. and we don't follow it. But um, that's what we do. We put out 190 plus stocks. This is for Friday. We have 190 on here. Most of them today are zeros, which means the algorithm says it's not a good day to buy for most of these stocks. Uh, the way it works is we have one, five, and 20 day holding periods for stocks. If this is Apple, here's populated. If you were to buy Apple, assuming your own analysis says uh, it's a good thing to do if you would buy uh, at roughly this price, you'd buy today, close out end of the trading day of the next trading session. Uh, at a loss or take your profit as soon as you got it. And it's the same thing with the five and the 20s. Buy today at approximately these, these prices if your own analysis says it's a good idea. And uh, hold for worst case 20 days, close out at a loss, 
best case, get yourself a profit as soon as you can get it. Take it as soon as you can get it, even if it's the same day. So that's how these work. We have 190 plus stocks. You can get them for absolutely free, no credit card required at rbamresearch.com. In addition to the stocks, we cover the major Forex pairs, uh, longs and shorts, longs and shorts for crypto on um, BTC, and the most liquid futures contracts, longs or shorts every day before 7 a.m. That's rbamresearch.com. There's a link in the description below. Just click on that link, get them absolutely free with no credit card. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that. If you have a great comment on how we can improve these videos, please leave it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep in mind everything you've seen or hear, heard on here, including the enterprises and our analysis is for entertainment purposes only. You can't use it for anything other than entertainment. You have to do your own analysis and you definitely trade at your own risk.